hey guys what's up so today in this video I am gonna show you how you can upload your DSYM files when you see in your Firebase console that there are two or few uh, DSYM files are missing for your production app okay so let's get start with an example on production of production app okay so first of all let me go on the google chrome or firebase console and let me show you what type of uh, error uh, you see on your firebase console so guys this is our uh, firebase console crashlytics uh, dashboard where you can see there is total uh, 8842 unprocessed crashes i upload two dsym files to process them okay guys so to follow this to uh, resolve this issue uh, what we need to do first of all uh, let's go to the DSYM uh, this uh, tab and here you can see here you can upload your DSYM files okay so now to upload DSYM file there are two approaches number one just drag and drop your uh, DSYM file here and the second approach is by script but for the first approach I don't have permission for this project so what I am gonna do I am gonna use the second approach in which with the help of a script I will upload the DSYM files okay so now the next question which comes in our mind uh, how we will get our DSYM files so to get your DSYM files what you need to do you have to observe for which versions of your app DSYM files are required okay so in my case there are two versions uh, the first app version is 6.8.0 and the build version is 349 and the second app version is 6.7.9 and the build version is 348 right so for these two versions I have to get my uh, uh, my DSIM files okay so for that what I have to do I have to go on my I have to log in into my uh, app store account and then we will download the DSYM file okay so let's log in with the app store login credentials okay so guys uh, finally I have logged in uh, with my app store uh, connect credentials and now uh, so you can uh, select your uh, application for which you wanted to download the DSYM files okay and uh, after that what you have to do you have to select the test flight tab uh, in these four tabs and after that you have to expand your um, app version for which you wanted to download the uh, dsym file okay so let me uh, check for the okay so my app version uh, is 6.8.0 and 6.7.9 okay so i have expanded my 6.8.0 and now let's click on the build information so once you click on the build information you will get uh, a tab that is build metadata okay so just you have you have to just click on this uh, build metadata and here you can see the download dsym file okay so from here you can download the dsym files so let's download for the uh, these two versions uh, and uh, then I will show you the further step so guys finally I have downloaded uh, these two DSYM zip file for, for my uh, 6.8.0 version and 6.7.9 version ok so now after this what we need to do we have to uh, just go in the directory in which you have downloaded your app DSYM zip file and after that what you will do you will create a DSYM folder okay so make sure this spelling uh, should be same as dsym yes. okay fine so now after this what you will do you will just copy your first dsym file you gonna just copy the first dsym file and paste oops wait so uh, first we need to copy this dsym uh, zip file and just paste within this dsym folder I hope you are getting my point okay so just uh, double tap in this and there is already one dsym zip file so I'm let me delete this file and I'm gonna paste my uh, previous file which I had copied okay 
After doing this, the next step is just open your terminal and what you have to do, you have to uh, follow the script uh, instructions from here. So as you can see, there are some instructions which you have to read about these instructions and the finally you got your uh, uh, you know what your uploader script which gonna upload your dsym file directly on your firebase console i hope you are getting my point okay so uh, i have already i mean so i have already uh, created this script for me uh, so first uh, what you have to do you have to give the path of your project if you are having the checkout of your uh, project okay your uh, basically your ios project and after that you have to give the path of uh, your ports directory and after that this text will be as it is up to the uh, upload symbols and hyphen gsp and after that you have to give the path of your info p list okay google services info p list which you have downloaded at the time of setting up your firebase project okay so i hope you are getting my point and the next uh, and last but not least is your path of dsym folder okay so i have already did this thing so let me show you uh, so in my case i have created this type of uh, uh, script okay so what i have to do i just have to do enter and it's gonna upload my uh, dsym file uh, on the firebase console and after that we will see whether that dsym uh, warning gonna read or not okay so let's wait for the uh, completion of this task so guys uh, finally my first app dsym.zip file is uploaded and for the second zip file i have to do the same approach so guys after taking 15 minutes of uh, my time uh, the both uh, uh, zip file have been uploaded on our firebase console so let's jump on the firebase console and let's see whether that warning gone or not okay and the new crashes will be appeared in your crashlytics dashboard okay so let's jump on the dashboard so guys uh, this is our dashboard and let me go on the dashboard and as you can see the warning has been gone and uh, so here as well you can see so our uh, dsym files have been uploaded and now new crashes will be appeared below so guys if you like this video then kindly hit the subscribe button please like the video share with your ios uh, groups and friends so i will see you in the next video thank you so much for uh, watching this video